Imagine this, a skinny calf today, and in just a few months, it looks twice the size. But how fast can fattening cattle really grow when properly fed? The truth might shock you, and the secret growth trigger is probably not what you expect. Welcome fellow cattle enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most critical questions in livestock management, the true growth potential of fattening cattle. This isn't just about getting bigger animals, it's about efficiency, profitability, and raising healthy, thriving livestock. Whether you have two heads of cattle or 2,000, the principles we'll cover today will change the way you see your operation. First, let's get straight to the numbers. A well-managed steer or heifer, under ideal conditions, can achieve an average daily gain, or ADG, of anywhere from 2.5 to over 4 pounds per day. Let me say that again, over 4 pounds of new weight every single day. Think about that for a moment. In just one month, that's an additional 120 pounds. In three months, it's 360 pounds. This is the kind of explosive growth that transforms a ranch's bottom line. But, and this is a huge but, this doesn't happen by accident. It's the result of unlocking the animal's full biological potential. The first key, the very foundation of rapid growth, is something you decide long before the first bag of feed is even opened. Genetics. You simply cannot expect a dairy-type animal to pack on muscle like a purpose-bred beef breed. Breeds like Angus, Charolais, Hereford, and Limousin have been selected for centuries for their ability to convert feed into high-quality meat efficiently. Their genetic code is the blueprint for growth. Choosing animals with a proven genetic background for high feed conversion and a good frame is like starting a race with a finely tuned engine. You're setting yourself up for success from day one. Now, with the right genetic blueprint, we need to provide the right building materials. This is where nutrition comes in, and it's far more nuanced than just putting out hay and grain. The animal's secret weapon for growth is its rumen. The rumen is not just a stomach, it's a complex, living fermentation vat teeming with trillions of microbes. These tiny organisms are the real workers. They break down tough plant fibers and feeds that a simple stomach couldn't handle, and convert them into the energy and protein the cow needs to grow. Keeping that rumen healthy and happy is paramount, and the worst part is, almost nobody truly understands how to optimize it. So, what does this microbial engine need to run at full throttle? It needs a balanced diet, primarily focused on three components, energy, protein, and fiber. And here lies the most common and costly mistake many producers make. They focus almost exclusively on protein. They hear protein builds muscle, so they buy the highest protein feed they can find. But here's the truth. Energy is the limiting factor for growth in most cattle diets. Protein provides the bricks, yes, but energy provides the workers to lay those bricks. Without enough energy, that expensive protein is either wasted or used inefficiently by the body for energy instead of for building muscle. Has this happened on your farm? You provide expensive feed, but the gains are just average? The culprit is very likely an energy-to-protein imbalance. High energy sources like corn, barley, and sorghum provide the fuel for the rumen microbes and the animal itself. This energy drives every metabolic process, including muscle deposition. Protein, sourced from things like soybean meal or high-quality alfalfa, is crucial for tissue repair and muscle synthesis. And fiber, from good quality hay or silage, is essential for keeping the rumen healthy, promoting cud chewing, and preventing digestive upset like acidosis. A perfect diet is a symphony of these three elements, perfectly tuned to the animal's age and weight. Let's put this into a real-world example. Imagine you have a weaned steer at 500 pounds. Your goal is to get it to a market weight of, say, 1,300 pounds. That's a total of 800 pounds of gain. With a top-tier management program, achieving an average daily gain of 3.5 pounds is very possible. A little simple math shows that it would take approximately 228 days, or about 7.5 months, to reach that target. That is an incredibly efficient turnaround. Now, let's consider another steer, with the same genetic potential but on a poorly managed feeding program. 
Maybe the water trough is often dirty, the feed is inconsistent, or the energy levels are too low. This animal might only average a gain of 1.75 pounds per day, exactly half. It will take that animal 456 days, or 15 months, to reach the same weight. That's twice as long, twice the feed, twice the labor, twice the time your capital is tied up, all for the same result. The difference isn't magic, it's management. In a moment, I will explain how to avoid this exact error, but first we need to talk about the hidden growth assassins. Beyond the big three of genetics, energy, and protein, there are two factors that can silently sabotage your entire operation, minerals and stress. Think of minerals and vitamins as the spark plugs in the engine. They are needed in tiny amounts, but without them, nothing works correctly. Deficiencies in things like copper, selenium, or zinc can cripple the immune system, reduce feed intake, and grind weight gain to a halt. A good quality, free choice mineral supplement is not an expense. It is one of the best investments you can make for your herd's health and growth. And then there's stress. Stress is the silent killer of profit. When an animal is stressed, from rough handling, overcrowding, extreme heat, or constant moving, its body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is the anti-growth hormone. It tells the body to break down muscle tissue and store fat, the exact opposite of what we want. It suppresses the immune system and reduces the animal's appetite. A calm, comfortable animal with plenty of space, clean bedding, and easy access to feed and water will always outperform a stressed one. This isn't just about being kind to the animals, it's about smart, scientific farming. Creating a low-stress environment is a direct path to faster, more efficient growth. This is the secret trigger we talked about at the beginning. It's not a feed or an additive, it's the holistic system you create that allows the animal to thrive. So, how do we apply this, whether we're a small producer or a large feedlot? For the small producer, your advantage is attention to detail. You can manage your pastures intensively, rotating them to provide the highest quality forage, which is an excellent source of balanced fiber, protein, and energy. You can observe your animals daily, ensuring they are always comfortable and healthy. For larger operations, the key is consistency and data. Using feed mixing wagons to deliver a total mixed ration, or TMR, ensures every animal gets the exact same balanced meal in every bite. Regularly weighing a sample of the animals and tracking their average daily gain allows you to make small adjustments to the ration before a problem becomes widespread. The secret to how fast fattening cattle can grow isn't found in a single magic bullet. It's the powerful synergy created when you combine superior genetics with a high-energy, balanced diet delivered to a healthy, functioning rumen inside a comfortable, low-stress animal. When all these pieces are in place, growth isn't just steady, it's explosive. You are no longer just feeding cattle, you are unlocking their full biological and genetic potential. Understanding this is what separates the average rancher from the truly great one. It's a commitment to science, a respect for the animal, and a sharp eye for the details that matter most. This journey of raising cattle, of turning grass and grain into healthy food, it's a shared passion and a craft we are all working to perfect. If you found value in this breakdown, if you learned something today that you can apply on your farm or in your studies, then help our community of dedicated producers grow. Hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cow so you don't miss our next deep dive. More importantly, drop a comment below. Share your own experience with cattle growth or ask a question you're wrestling with. We all learn from each other. And finally, if you know another rancher or student who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Because here, we're not just raising cattle, we're raising the standard. Let's grow together.